Hello, in this video we're going to determine all constants P for which the following series converges. The series is sum of n equals 1 to infinity, nth root of 2 minus 1, all raised to the power of P. And notice that P is a constant. I have the first version of this video up um, on my YouTube channel and I'll put the link on the upper right corner so you may want to check that out before watching this video and also at this point you want to pause the video and think about the problem on your own so let's go over the solution the first thing that I do is understand the nth term of this series so let's look at nth root of 2 minus 1 raised to the power of p. One way of understanding this is to multiply by its conjugate. So I'm going to use the identity x to the n minus y to the n equals x minus y times x to the power of n minus 1 plus x to the power of n minus 2y all the way to x y to the power of n minus 2 and y to the power of n minus 1. So if we do that and multiply by the conjugate, we will get nth root of 2 minus 1 times nth root of 2 to the power of n minus 1 plus nth root of 2 plus 1 divided by nth root of 2 to the power of n minus 1 all the way to nth root of 2 plus 1 and the whole thing is raised to the power of p. Now let's understand the inside. So the inside is nth root of 2 minus 1 is going to be 1 over because the difference of nth power is 1 nth root of 2 to the power of n minus 1 all the way to nth root of 2 plus 1. Now, if you think about this expression at the bottom, each of these terms is between 1 and 2. So the smallest value that they can be is the, is the last one, and the largest value is the first one, and they're all between 1 and 2. So that means nth root of 2 minus 1 is between these two values 1 over 2n because there are n terms at the bottom each of them are at most 2 so it's at least 1 over 2n and on the right they are less than or equal to 1 over n because each one of these terms is at least 1 so the largest value of nth root of 2 minus 1 is 1 over n okay so now I can understand the nth root of 2 minus 1 to the power of p. So there are two possibilities. If p is positive, I can just raise all sides to the power of p. So suppose p is greater than or equal to 0. Then I can raise all sides to the power of p because x to the power of p is an increasing function. So I will get nth root of 2 minus 1 to the power of p less than or equal to 1 over n to the power of p. Now, by p test, I can understand both of these two series because this series is just 1 over 2 to the power of p times 1 over n to the power of p. And by p test, I can tell when this converges. And same thing for this side. This is also 1 over n to the power of p. So let's write it down. So if p is greater than 1, then sum of 1 over n to the power of p converges. So the one on the right converges sum of 1 over n to the power of p. So by comparison test, sum of nth root of 2 minus 1 to the power of p also converges. And notice that both of these two series have positive terms. Now, if p is positive and less than or equal to 1, greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 1, then I know sum of 1 over 2n to the power of p, which is 1 over 2 to the power of p, sum of 1 over n to the power of p, diverges by, again, p-test. Now, the one on the left diverges, the one right here diverges. Therefore, this one would have to also diverge. So, by comparison test, the sum of n through of 2 minus 1 to the power of p diverges. Now let's look at what happens when p is negative. So if p is negative, you could do the same thing, just you have to flip the direction of inequalities because x to the power of p would be decreasing. So we would get 1 over n to the power of p is less than nth root of 2 minus 1 to the power of p less than or equal to 1 over 2n to n to the power of now again, we could say 1 over n to the power of p is too large because n is negative. So in fact, this one is even easier. 1 over n to the power of p is greater than 1 
because p is negative. So it's n to the power of negative p, and the exponent is a positive number. So this is greater than or equal to 1. So that tells us nth root of 2 minus 1 to the power of p is in fact more than 1. So what we can say is that the nth root of 2 minus 1 to the power of p does not converge to 0. So thus, by the divergence test, the series nth root of 2 minus 1 to the power of p in fact diverges. So the answer is the series converges if and only if p is greater than 1. If you like this video, make sure to check out the rest of the videos on my channel. My focus is on problem solving and walking you through the strategies of problem solving. And I will see you in the next video.